No, not smiling anymore. I think so. You know, as much as anything, while he complains about the line call, <laughs> he just climbed over the net. While he complains this is, about the line this call, at Mac that's right. officials are around. I think what he's really complaining about is the delay that McEnroe had exercised a moment ago. Oh, come on, you're up again. Any court, really any court, Monsieur McEnroe. How can you be sure from here? How can you be sure from here? Le très est allé effacer la marque, mais de toute façon, cette balle est dans le couloir. take it at 30 40. I hit two aces in a row and 30 15 and now 30 40. That ball was right on the line. He's sure of his decision. How can you not call the ball on the line? Why not? That's two aces I've hit. The match will be over right now. 30 15 I hit an ace. 30 40 I hit an ace. Nice play, Mr. Matthews. 30, 40, second serve. It was the wrong side. The ball just came up on the floor. It was a bit of a spread, Mr. McEnroe. That was a good call. Excuse me? That was a bit of a spread. That was a bit of a spread. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! That ball was on the line. Chalk flew up. It was clearly it. How can you possibly call that out? He's walking over, everyone knows it's in this whole stadium, and you pull it out? You got the absolute pits of the world, you know that? I'm going to award a point against you, Mr. McEnroe. How bad everyone is, you know that? You're a disgrace, and everyone here is a disgrace. You can't get a call to even this far out right. It's absolutely unacceptable. I want someone to so bad like you. I want so bad to make my day. I've been with people like you for 10 years. Hey, you never worked on a court again, you understand me? You're pathetic, you know that? You are the worst umpire that I've ever seen in my life. You're never going to work another match of five minutes. Come on! This is absurd! I can't believe this! 30-15. <laughs> he misses. He misses the ball over the baseline. He says the baseline's one whose ball grows some hair. He's been... First penalty point. Et bien voilà, jeu pour Prolet. Puisqu'un point de pénalité vient d'être donné à McEnroe pour une réflexion désobligeante. Jeu pour Prolet. C'est dans le règlement. Il avait déjà reçu un avertissement tout à l'heure. 
et l'arbitre vient de lui donner un point de pénalité. Et bien voilà, McEnroe réclamant le juge arbitre. Il lui demande de redire ce qu'il a dit. Il lui demande de redire McEnroe réclamait auprès de l'arbitre qu'il lui redit ce qu'il avait dit de désobligeant. Monsieur McEnroe perd. Assiste une fois de plus à la colère de son enfant. Ah, C'est vraiment la colère. Alors que Monsieur Fred Hoyce, le juge arbitre, va être appelé par l'arbitre de chaise, Monsieur Graham. Personnellement, nous n'avions pas entendu non. la réflexion de McEnroe, donc nous ne pouvons pas prendre parti. McEnroe prétend, lui, qu'il n'a rien dit et que c'est une erreur. Voilà M. Fred Holtz, juge arbitre du tournoi de Wimbledon. Ah, de toute façon, McEnroe n'aura pas raison, il est complètement hors de lui, là. Voilà. Et oui, le juge arbitre, résumant un petit peu... En disant tout simplement que l'arbitre est le maître à bord. Et M. Fredol, d'ailleurs, va s'installer au bord du cours. Surveiller la fin du déroulement de cette rencontre. The question, jerk oh. Is there no obstruction there, yelling in the middle of my point about that hit shot? ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。ポイント。
Now we have to play. You're a disgrace, and everyone here is a disgrace. You can't get a call to even this far out right. It's absolutely unacceptable. I want someone to pay so bad like you. I want you so bad to make my day. What other people are you for 10 years? <laughs> he misses he misses the ball over the baseline. He says the baseline's one whose ball grows some hair. You understand me? You're pathetic, you know that? You are the worst umpire that I've ever seen in my life. You're never gonna work another match five minutes. Oh. 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 Wide. A late call. That was inside the line right there. Okay, I took it 35, but I'm not gonna take it at 30 40. I hit two aces in a row on 30, 15, and now 30, 40. That ball was right on the line. He's sure of his decision. How can you not call the ball on the line? Why not? That's two aces I've hit. The match will be over right now. 30, 15, I hit an ace. 30, 40, I hit an ace. have to accept this call. Nice play, Mr. Matthews. 30, 40, second show. Yep, not smiling anymore. <laughs> I think, though, you know, as much as anything, while he complains about the line call, <laughs> he just climbed over the net. While he complains about the line call, at McEnroe. that's right. Around. I think what he's really complaining about is the delay that McEnroe had exercised a moment ago. Answer my question! The question, jerk! 15対13で決着がついたそうですよ。ああ、そうですか。それはまた珍しい激戦ですね。前に出た。ナスタズ上に上げた。今度はモドルマケンドパッシングどうか返しました。もう一個アウトです。サイドアウト。あ、ドリブルじゃないかそうですね。今度。大きな声で言ってます。え、ラケットのこんなラスタズがボールをこれ
You're not playing to the pace of the server. He's ready. Sorry? You're not, you're not in position to receive. I'm absolutely ready to play. He goes for a 10 second motion after he does that. Watch my get down on my knees. I'd like the supervisor brought out because I don't want to lose a point after you cheat me on another thing, too. Sorry? So let's get the supervisor ready before I get cheated on another issue. Thing to push the fact is my interpretation of whether you were ready or not. I was absolutely standing there waiting for him to go into his motion. Uh, I have ten more seconds. I'd like the supervisor brought out to, so that I do not get a point penalty on this. Okay, fine. Uh, supervisor is coming out. Skippy Ings slapped the warning on Macker not for abuse of himself, but for not playing to the pace of Boris Becker's serve. And remember, this is a separate issue from a conduct warning. The two are treated separately. Let's listen. That's correct. Yeah, I was absolutely ready to play. He was not ready to serve. He goes to a 10 second motion after he looks up. He looks up, throws, he does a 10 second thing every time. So why, why did I, what, what's true? No, he goes to a, yeah, but he he goes to a 10 second thing. I'm standing there waiting. I go, all I have to do is go like that I, in 10 seconds. I take a long time. I, I feel like we the, played an hour and a half, a set. And I'm the one complaining about playing too slowly, and now he gives me a warning for stalling. That's why. Now what the hell? Because I said it. That's directly related to what I said. There's no way I deserve a point penalty, whatever the hell it is. Okay. So, but I mean, the thing I, is, no, I want him to reverse the call. No, I don't want it. It's not fair. I was absolutely ready to play. But it's a judgment no, call by the other. Yeah, but this, you have to overrule that error in judgment. No, I can't, because it's his judgment. I mean, I cannot interpret it, what he sees and what he, what he interprets as the, the, the... Oh, you time. can. What do you do then? Tell me what you can do in this situation. It's a rule of ten. I was staying, was staying, waiting for him to play. I've been complaining that he's taking too long. Now, all of a sudden, I'm the guy that gets a penalty. I wonder how that works. Is that your judgment on that? Hey, that's a brilliant judgment. How did you come up with that? How did you come up with such a brilliant decision? I was just, I was waiting for him to go into the motion. No, but you're gonna, it's gonna cost me later when you take a point from me. Well, what do you, yeah, because I have a free one that I should have had later, and now I'm not gonna have it because he made a terrible call. And you can't overrule it. And you're not gonna change it. And you don't, and you still think after what's happened that that's right. You still think I wasn't ready to play. You still don't think I was ready to play. That I've been complaining about the ball. No, no, he was ready to play. No, I think it was immensely clear. You still think in 10 seconds I could have gotten ready to play. In 10 seconds you don't think I could have gotten ready to play. This is taking three minutes. This is a joke. Three and a half minutes. This is ridiculous. I'm complaining about him playing this game. He's done the same way. It is time for him to turn to go play. Or slap him with the point penalty. He's not ready to serve when he gets to the line. Second serve, a few claps. played. When John realizes he had missed that backhand, disgust is very evident. 30 all.
can't, you got yourself full of shit. There couldn't be a bigger point of the match. I mean, a double fault in John, had that been called wide where John saw the ball, that would have been his match point. Instead, it's called an ace. Unbelievable. That's the one in question. John immediately walked over to this and showed her Hercosin just where it landed. He thought it wide. 40-30 to Lendl. point about that hit a shot Let's not make a martyr out of her now. <laughs> 